everybody and welcome back. It is Michael from Hollow Thrills back with another video and today we are here at the Gaylord Palms Resort here in Orlando, Florida. We are here to check out ICE. ICE is an event here at the Gaylord Palms that they just have a ton of different ice, ice sculptures for you to check out and just a whole bunch of different scenes of some of your favorite holiday movies. And this year's theme is for Charlie Brown Christmas. Charlie Brown Christmas is a movie that I literally grew up watching. It is a thing that my family would watch every single year for the holidays. So I'm super excited to be able to see some of the ice sculptures for this film and to kind of relive some of the scenes from the film. I am super excited to check it out. But before we get anything, please make sure you subscribe and have the bell notifications turned on to get notified whenever I post a video. And also make sure you follow me on the Instagram and Twitter. The links are down in the description below. But let's go check out this event. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that we're doing today. We're checking out this as well as we have um, a scavenger hunt that we're going to be doing around the resort as well. So let's head in. So we got to head this way for ice. And actually down this way, there is a really cool photo op off to the left here um, where it makes it look like you are inside of a snow globe. I thought that was like super cool. Like, look at that, that is so awesome. And they can take your picture and get a really nice photograph of you and your family or whoever you decide to come here with. But that is awesome. So here is our little map for the event. So we have the snow factory, we have a bunch of different games and stuff that you can play, including a bar. Let's see, they have the snow tubing. We're not gonna be doing that today, unfortunately. It was a little bit too expensive for me, but they do have a Build-A-Bear thing here this year as well as a bunch of other dining options, as well as gingerbread houses, and little meeting with Miss Claus that she does a little story time for you, all at an additional cost, not including the actual ice event itself. And that's all inside Exhibit Hall E, as well as Exhibit Hall F, here at the Gaylord Palms Convention Center. Now, it is recommended for ice to wear kind of a, a sweatshirt or, or, or kind of a heavy, heavier clothes, so I also have um, a hat with me as well um, because it does get very cold in there they have to keep it at below 32 degrees because they got to keep that ice frozen so it's going to be really cool cold in there but they do um, provide you with a, a, a nice winter jacket a nice parka to, to layer up with so hopefully that should be enough for me today along with my hooded sweatshirt um, to keep me nice and, uh, nice and uh, warm but the second you walk into the convention center you're met with the snow factory here Let's honestly let's go check it out. We got Snowflow Mountain where we have just a bunch of other like stuff. Oh, I see the snow tubing area. So let's go take a closer look. Yeah, so like I said, here is the attraction for the actual ice tubing. It's just this tiny little hill in here, but does look super fun. Like let's let's see if we can catch anybody coming down. Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> That looks super fun. Unfortunately, like I said though, a little bit too expensive to be able to do this, but I would definitely suggest coming in and looking at it if you have a little bit extra money that you're willing to throw around when you're coming out here to check out the event. Directly across from the snow tubing area though is the snow bar. So let's go check out the snow bar here and see what they really have to offer on the menu. So let's see, we have Christmas cheer, vodka Pepsi, Ooh, wow, cherry Pepsi, nice. Mistletoe margarita, Kringle Old Fashion, gingerbread mule, reindeer meister, green nog. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Creme de cacao, oh, I love that. Different various beer and seltzers, some wine, but I'm a huge fan of, of like mint flavored things, so that green nog might be something I'm gonna check out tonight. So then another thing over here, just to the left of the, uh, the uh, snow tubing, and that is Snowball Build and Blast. And there's just a little game over here where you get to have like some shaved ice in a bucket there as you see them working on it right there and you get to pack together some some snowballs and then you go over and you do some target practice it looks super fun and this once again is also at an additional cost but like they're just going at it man it is super fun 
Now, I do have to say this isn't my first time here at the Gaylord Palms for their Christmas event, but it is my first time here for ice, as uh, I do have a previous video on my channel from uh, back in 2020 when they had I Love Christmas movies here instead of the ice event. And most of the stuff that you see behind me for like the, uh, the snow mountains and everything like that, most of the stuff was still included, like meaning like it was still here at the event and for an extra price. But the ice event itself, the actual event in the showroom was not the same. It was a full showcase of Christmas movies. And I actually really love that event. So I'm interested to see how my first experience will be here for the actual ice event that they normally have during the holiday season. So over there is where we came in. And if you follow the path down that way is where all the other snow tubing stuff and everything was. But if we continue this way, there is the actual entrance to ice. And then behind me is the entrance to story time with Mrs. Claus. So there's the entrance over here. I believe there is a show going on right now. We might be able to kind of sneak a peek inside there and see Mrs. Claus. Yep, there she is. She's meeting with people right now. But yeah, so this is the entrance to where you would find that. And then if we continue on this way, we actually get to see the Alpine Workshop, which I believe is kind of like a, a build your own toy area. And I think they also have um, escape games in there, like five minute escape games. But continuing on this way, we have the Alpine Village Market Square, which looks awesome. I remember this last time I was here. They have a bunch of different things regarding like all the movies and stuff that they're gonna be showing here. And they also have a bunch of stuff for ice itself, the actual event. So like different Christmas ornaments and snow globes and stuff. It looks really awesome. Well, let's check out some of my favorite things that I did see in here. I found the Build-A-Bear workshop section as we were kind of looking around that Alpine Village marketplace. So this is just right over here and they have some special uh, bears that you can make while you're here and some special outfits, including this cool little Gaylord Palms t-shirt. But I did find all this stuff for our feature presentation, which is Charlie Brown Christmas. So we have some Snoopy stockings over here. We have the actual book for the movie. That's really awesome. And we have some ornaments and stuff over here, as well as a bunch of other merchandise for the, the movie and just the peanuts in general. Like there's Lucy, there's Charlie Brown. There's a really nice ice hoodie that has Charlie Brown on it and the little Christmas tree that he has. Let's see, we have a bunch of peanut squishmallows, including this awesome one of Charlie Brown in his, his Christmas outfit. That is really adorable. And they actually have Charlie Brown's Christmas tree itself right there. Look at that, that is so cool. I think my, parent, my dad has one of those. He puts it up every year and it's the coolest thing ever. And here's a bunch of like ice branded uh, Charlie Brown Christmas stuff. So we have a little snow globe here. Ain't that adorable. And then we have coffee mugs, thermoses, picture frames. And then we, over here, we have some socks that are like the, the pattern of Charlie Brown's uh, actual like t-shirt. So we met some couple, a couple fans of the channel and they definitely want to tell you guys what their favorite part of, to, of their event here is. So I'm going to throw it over to them and they're going to tell you all about what they thought was the best part here at the Gaylord Palms for the ice event. My favorite part of this theme park is the sledding and the tubing. My name is Henley and uh, my favorite part about this theme park is going down the tube. The tubing. All right, our last little sweep of different stuff that they have over here. You can see a massive tree of just Elf on the Shelf and a whole bunch of Elf on the Shelf over there that you can get and a bunch of Squishmallows, but these really caught my eye. These are pajama pants. They are very festive looking. We got Holly on them. We got a bunch of different like birds, including a Cardinal that I saw in here. There's the Cardinal. These are very, very loud pajama pants. All right, so we checked out all the stuff that's in here before we head into ICE. Now it is our time to actually head into the event and check out everything that is inside there and actually see the ice sculptures and everything. I'm ready. I'm a little bit hot now, so I'm hoping that it's gonna cool me down once we get in there. Okay, we are heading in. It is our time to head in. And we just have to scan our tickets over here and I have my tickets right on my phone. 
throughout the line they have a bunch of stuff about the making of ice. This is really cool. So we have how they transport the ice. That is really awesome. There's a bunch of different stuff in here. Oh, and there's even some ice over here that we can we can touch and, and mess around with. That is, yeah, that's 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 ice. That's cold. Morning. <laughs> It's cold. <laughs> oh no, this one's melting. Oh, that's really awesome. This is really cool. And you, yeah, you can press the different buttons and it'll have different instances of the ice they've used here in the, uh, previously. That's awesome. All right, we are in line to get our parka. These big old blue parkas. Hopefully they'll keep us warm as we brace the elements to see some awesome ice sculptures. Do I look official? I think I look official. Look at that, I look so official. I got my parka on, we're waiting in line to head in. I think we're, we're I think we got like one more turn and then we're gonna be there. But I look, I look like I'm ready to, to head out into, into Antarctica for like the thing, you know? I think I'm ready for that. Oh man, we are in. It is chilly to say the least. But look at these awesome ice sculptures. Look at that. That is so cool. It's my favorite part of Charlie Brown Christmas where Snoopy eats 37 human femurs. <laughs> it is, I just love this though. This looks so awesome. And the fact that this is all like colored ice, that is so cool. We have the brick wall that Linus and Charlie Brown sit at when and Charlie Brown likes to say, uh, you know, it's just, the season just really is just depressing. You know, it's Charlie Brown, you might have some seasonal depression, man. It, it, it's a great time of season. There's nothing to be sad about. Oh my gosh. These are so awesome. Snoopy though, I will have to say, you are endangering the lives of a couple children here by doing this. It's not nice. Here's Charlie Brown checking to see if he got any mail. Like I said, though, this is just so awesome. Here's some psychiatric help from Lucy. The doctor is a. Hey, that's not accurate. That is not accurate. It should say is real in. I'm, I'm marking that one off on this one. They gotta get it right, come on. Still, I mean, that's still cool nonetheless. And then right across from that, I guess Snoopy decorating for his lights and display contest. This is so cool. Hey, all she wants is what she has coming to her. You know, how about 10s and 20s? Oh, they even have like the full list on there. That's, that, that's awesome. Look at that. If it seems too complicated, make it easy on yourself. Just send money. How about 10s and 20s? 10s and 20s? This whole Christmas thing is just getting so commercial. Are you kidding me? There is a whole ass igloo inside here. We're heading into the school because they got some play rehearsal. What? This is so cool. Oh my God, it is freezing cold in here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> This is so awesome though. Oh, hey, that's the real holiday right there. That's the real holiday. There's Franklin, Snoopy. This is so cool. Oh, he's doing the Frankenstein over there. Schroeder practicing the, his uh, his Beethoven. I mean, did Beethoven ever have his picture on a bubblegum card? What makes Beethoven so great? And they have these ice slides over here that appear to be only for children, which is kind of disappointing. I kind of wanted to do one, but I guess uh, maybe they have one later for adults. I don't know. The move, Charlie Brown, giving people some instructions as the director. Let's see if we can catch anybody coming down the slide. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> I suggest we try those searchlights, Charlie Brown. This reminds me of the ice. I 
didn't even know they still made Christmas trees. This is so cool though. Like all the trees, the aluminum trees are made of ice. That is so cool. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Sure, Charlie Brown. Lights, please. That is awesome. Straight out of the movie, man. I, this is, this is, I'm, I'm having a fantastic time here. This is so cool. Oh, and then they, and they have the, I don't know if you can hear the audio, but they have it playing. Oh man, they have someone actually here carving out something. But look at this. Each Gaylord Hotel employs a team of 35 ice artisans, including 25 builders and nine detailed carvers and two electricians. Holy crap. And then inside of here, it has to be a constant nine degrees Fahrenheit. Holy crap. So that's, yeah, that's pretty cold. That would explain why it's so cold in here. But let's look at all these carvings that this guy has done. A little squirrel there. These are really, really freaking cool. Let's see what he's working on now. Oh, it's a dragon. That looks awesome. And here we go. Snoopy won first prize in the lights and display contest. Charlie Brown still, still, you don't look happy, man. But look at this. That is awesome. And then you can even go inside of Snoopy's house. Am I going to go inside of Snoopy's house? Am I really going to stoop that low? Of course I'm going to stoop that low. It's Snoopy's house. There's a, there's a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. Ugh, we got to go on our hands and knees here. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Okay, this is a great, I can only assume final scene, because this is the last scene that's in the movie. But there's Charlie Brown's Christmas tree all decorated up, and then you got everybody out here singing. Marcy, there's Franklin, there's Pigpen, Lucy, Schroeder, Peppermint Patty. This is awesome. The end. The end indeed. This is a perfect way to end up this whole experience here. Alright, so we just got out of uh, ice and I can say I am pretty chilly now. <laughs> But that was definitely a, an amazing experience and overall just a fun thing here at the Gaylord Palms for the uh, holiday season. Um, it was $40 for our evening here um, for just ice. Is, um, but they do take your picture right at the beginning and they said that it was $55 I think is what it was for the picture. Really nice picture. It comes in a really nice kind of booklet that's themed for Charlie Brown Christmas. Um, we didn't buy it just because, I mean, it's a little bit expensive for a picture. Um, but overall, though, the actual event itself was very fun. But we do have that scavenger hunt uh, still left to do, so do not do not leave. Do not leave just yet. We have that scavenger hunt all throughout the, uh, the grounds of the Gaylord Palm. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll finish out our video. So we got our Merry Snoopy Christmas scavenger hunt. This was, I think, an extra like $14 or $15 to do this. It's a clue and activity book, and we're gonna get a ton of clues throughout the grounds of the Gaylord Palms, starting off with our first one here at Guest Services. And I believe there is our marker over there to indicate that there is a clue over here. But you get a little special uh, prize for completing the book. So here's kind of how this works. You follow the clues to go to your next destination and then basically whatever Snoopy's either holding or on top of is whatever the sticker is that you're gonna put on the back of the booklet. So here's the stickers and you're trying to just build Snoopy's doghouse. So on the back of this, here is just our the first one right there at here guest services is where we started and you can see yeah Snoopy's sitting on a little gingerbread doghouse all right clue number two has us heading to the atrium so it's got a little bit of a walk here from down where the uh, exhibit halls are but I just love how this is something that you can do here for the holiday season but it also allows you to kind of explore the entirety of the resort um, and this resort, I, like I said, I've been here before. This resort is stunning. I love this resort, it looks so awesome. All right, so we found a Snoopy over here by this koi pond. This isn't the one that we need for clue number two, 
but we did mark it on our list for the correct clue. I'm not going to tell you what that is just in case you decide to come here and do it, but this is a location for one of them. You just have to figure out which one. All right, I found Moore's Indoor Sailboat right here at Moore Restaurant. Let's see if I can find where Snoopy is for our clue number two. All right, we are on our way past Emerald Bay Cafe for clue number four. Let's see if you can keep up with us here. Clue number four. And it says that it is over by the entrance of the big show that's here. The, the greatest story, I believe is what it's called. There's our entrance to the show over there and right across, we got Snoopy and what's he got? He's got a little Christmas ornament. Clue five, I believe, has brought us to Gator Springs. Where is, where is he at? Well, we got some Gator Pals here. Let's see if we can find where Snoopy's at. Yeah, I have no idea. All right, so we had a little bit of an issue with clue number six. We got a little bit turned around, but uh, in the end we did end up finding it. So now we have seven, eight, and nine to do. And then we head all the way back to where we started to pick up our prize. But um, yeah, that one was a little bit more difficult because uh, there, there's two clues literally very close together. So it was kind of hard to figure out which one was for which clue. In the very dark corner here of the Everglade Atrium, we found the arcade for clue number seven and he is hidden in the dark there. But there is Christmas lights on his doghouse. We have two more to go and we are star starting our way back to where we started as the next clue has us heading back towards the convention center. There's Wrecker's Sports Bar and how much is that doggy in the window? The one holding a Christmas tree. Yep, we got our Christmas tree. Abby's doing our little maze that we have. We have one more sticker left and one more clue left. We are back inside. We are heading over towards our group of Christmas trees that you may have saw earlier in the video because this is where our last clue is for the entire scavenger hunt. Where is he at? I don't know, I don't see him. Congratulations, you completed the scavenger hunt. Please pick up your gift at the holiday box office. Well, I guess I must have been mistaken because here's our prize. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> I thought it was some sort of ornament, um, but it just said seasonal souvenir, which I guess is my mistake that I thought that was what the quiet prize is gonna be, but it's just a, like a Christmas tree sword. Okay, I, that's cool, I guess. Not really worth the uh, 15 bucks that it was to do the uh, scavenger hunt, but the scavenger hunt was fun nonetheless. But with that, we are done here at the Gaylord Palms here in Orlando for the ICE event. Fantastic time here today. Uh, I love scavenger hunts, so that was actually really fun, regardless of what the prize ended up being at the end. And just the overall event was super fun. Um, Ice is amazing. I honestly, between that and I Love Christmas movies, which we did a couple years ago, I think Ice was more unique than the I Love Christmas movies. I thought it was really awesome to see uh, scenes of my favorite, one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time, kind of remade in ice sculptures. I thought that was awesome and super unique. And just overall, this experience was fairly fun. I I would 100% recommend coming out here. There's still a couple weeks left until this event is over, so you still have some time. But um, definitely gets gets you into the the holiday spirit here at the Gaylord Palm. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you drop a like and also comment down below. Have you been out here to check out this event? I'd love to know. But as always, I'm Michael from Hollow Thrills, giving you the all clear and all clear. Means you're out of here. See you guys next time.